everyone. Thank you for joining me for another yoga flow. My name is Mallory. If we have not practiced together before, and I'm so glad you chose to do my video uh, today. So before we get started, why don't we grab our mats, blankets, pillows, bolsters, blocks, water, whatever we need to make this a wonderful practice. And then we'll get started. So once we have everything we need, just check in with your space. If you're practicing from home, um, let go of all the distractions, all of the things to do, and let's find any comfortable position to get started. And checking in with our emotional self, our physical self, and maybe even our spiritual self with all of the things going on. Let's use this time to really focus and nurture ourselves. So I like to start laying down, but you could start in a seated position, child's pose, whatever's most comfortable for you, let's go there. we'll let the body settle. Letting go of any tension. And finding yourself melting into your mat, into the floor. And soften the face. And soften the body. And then we'll start to soften the breath. And noticing the energy and the intent into which you brought into this yoga practice. If there's anything weighing you down, let it go with each exhale. As we start to find a rhythm here, we'll slowly fill up the lungs through the nose, expanding through the chest, through the belly, and on your exhale, slowly release the air through the nose. And breathing in, we'll fill the body up getting rid of all that stagnant air, really just opening the lungs to full capacity. And just as slowly, just as long, let all of the air go to every inch of your body. Maintaining this ebb and flow of breath throughout your yoga practice. Uh, if we tend to run out of breath, it's usually because we are holding it in. And the moment we stop breathing is the moment we stop doing yoga. We never want to restrict that energy flow in and out with the life force. And on your next breath in, we'll take the arms overhead, interlacing the fingers, and if we're seated or in child's pose, why don't we all come down to our backs. Uh, taking a nice long pencil stretch here, interlacing the fingers and pointing the toes away from the body. And finding that connection. And on your exhale, we'll pull the knees into the chest, wrap the arms around the legs, and give yourself a great big hug. And shutting down the eyes, just taking a moment of gratitude here for our bodies, for our health. And breathing in, we'll sweep the arms up, extending the legs long, stretching out. And 
And on your exhale, we'll pull the knees into the chest. Rock from side to side if it feels good for you, offering a little spinal massage. And maybe pointing and flexing the toes. My feet have a mind of their own. They're always doing something. And slowly and gently, we'll cross up the ankles, rocking up to a seated position. And we'll make our way on our mats into half lotus, full lotus, crisscross applesauce. Finding your best variation of a seat. But we'll draw the shoulders down and away from the ears, opening the front of the chest, and adding a soft smile to our face, and we'll shut down the eyes. Again, finding that breath. Regulating that flow of air, that prana, the life force that both energizes and relaxes the body. And on your inhale, we'll take the arms up, moving nice and slow. The palms will come together. And we'll exhale the hands to the center of the chest. May our thoughts be peaceful. May our actions be guided by love. May our practice benefit all beings everywhere. And breathing in, we'll lift the hands, lift the gaze, and we'll cross the fingers, turning the palms up, just stretching the arms. And we don't want to squeeze up, but we want to press up while pulling the shoulders down. And we'll take a breath in and on your exhale, we'll slowly side bend to the right side. We'll take the gaze up to the left. And breathing in, the body will move to center. And on your exhale, we'll slowly side bend over to the left side. And breathing in, the body will come up. And on your exhale, let the hands fall down. Coming behind the back, interlacing the fingers, pulling down with the knuckles to just open the shoulders, open the chest, the throat. And we'll release the hands, taking them back to the front of our mat. And taking a breath in, we'll lengthen through the spine. And on your exhale, slowly crawl the fingers out in front of you. And easing our way down into this forward fold. If we're right up here, that is perfectly fine. There is uh, no rush to get to the floor, slowly but surely with practice, the body will ease down. And letting the head and the neck release, breathing into any tightness. Whenever you're ready, we'll unravel the legs, coming into an all fours position. So I'll turn to the side of my mat, but my hips are stacked underneath my knees. The hands are underneath the shoulders. The fingers are spread wide, wide and we're creating a nice solid, solid foundation here. And once we found our stance, we'll start to move the spine, breathing in to drop the belly, lift the gaze, 
lifting the tailbone. And on your exhale, we'll round in our spines, tucking the chin into our chest. And we'll release all of the air. And breathing in, we'll drop the belly, lift the tailbone. And creating a nice deep arch in the back. And on your exhale, we'll round in the spine. Uh, hollowing out the back, maybe gazing past your thighs. And feeling free to move around, wiggle out the shoulders, the hips. Uh, whatever you need, whatever your body needs. Whenever you're ready, come back to a neutral spine. Uh, fun fact, cat and cow used to not be my favorite, but the more I slowed down and really focused on where I was sending my breath, the better it felt. And so we'll take a breath in, shooting the right arm up to the ceiling, to the sky. And on your exhale, we'll slowly thread it underneath the left armpit, right ear to the mat. And finding a nice open shoulder. And the left hand can stay on the mat. Maybe we raise it up and behind our back. And slowly the left hand will press into the mat, breathing in, extending that arm up nice and tall. And slowly we'll take the hand down. And setting up for our other side, we'll breathe in, left arm opens, opening up the chest. And on the exhale, We'll thread the left arm underneath the right armpit. Again, we could keep the right arm on the mat, and maybe extend it up and around the back. The right hand will press into the floor, breathing in. The left arm will raise. And on your exhale, we'll plant the hands. And the soles of the feet will come together. We'll take the knees wide, uh, sitting back with the hips. We'll extend the arms out for our child's pose. Taking a few minutes here to ground and to center ourselves, uh, maybe replaying that opening thought, being intentional with the energy we are bringing into this space. And knowing that child's pose is one we could take at any time during any class. Uh, this is your private island. This is your yoga practice. And so we'll take a few more breaths here. And whenever you're ready, we'll ground the hands down into the mat, lifting up with the toes. The hips will come towards the ceiling. We'll find our way to a downward facing dog. And pulling the shoulders together, feeling the length throughout your legs and finding movement by pedaling out the feet from left to right. And breathing in, we'll raise to the tips of our toes or the balls of our feet. 
And on the exhale, we'll bend the knees, taking the chest over our thighs, uh, keeping a nice long spine here. And breathing in, we'll send the legs straight. And on the exhale, we'll slowly pull the heels towards the back of the mat. And breathing in, we'll do this one more time, raising to the balls of the feet. And on your exhale, we'll bend the knees, taking the chest over the thighs. And slowly sending the legs straight and on your exhale, we'll pull the heels towards the back of the mat. And when your body's completely empty of breath, we'll take the feet to meet the hands. And we'll hang heavy here. And the knees can be nice and gently bent. We never want to do anything that hurts the body. And we'll drop the hands. Rounding down into the toes, we'll breathe in, lifting up nice and tall for our tall mountain pose. And shutting down the eyes here, activating the fingers, pulling the sternum, the belly, all of the energy we're sending up and through the toes, we're grounding the energy down. And we'll take a breath in and the palms will come to touch and we'll exhale the hands to the center of the chest. Again, nice and active here. Lift the toes, uh, tuck the navel into the spine. Really find that line of energy, that shishuma that runs from the tip of the head to the tailbone. We'll take a breath in, sending the arms up, lifting the gaze. And on your exhale, we'll open the arms wide. And we'll fold in half. And breathing in, we'll halfway lift to lengthen out through the spine, uh, keeping the crown of the head away from the tailbone. And on the exhale, we'll fold. And rooting down into the toes, we breathe in, saluting the sun one more time. And the palms will come together and we'll exhale the hands to the center of the chest. The palms are actively pressing together, lifting up the toes. Oh, we don't want to collapse. It defeats the purpose of this strong masculine yang yoga. And breathing in, we'll lift the gaze, lift the hands. Maybe take a little back bend here, easing the hips towards the top of the mat. And lifting the gaze. And on your exhale, we'll open the arms wide. And we'll fold down. And breathing in, we halfway lift to lengthen through the spine. And on your exhale, we'll fold. And the hands will plant on the mat. And the knees will bend. And rooting down into the right foot, we'll slowly take the left foot back behind us, uh, working our way into a low lunge. And taking just a moment to let that foot settle, let the hamstrings open. And gently we'll drop the back knee, breathing in, easing the hips forward for our low crescent lunge. And so the knee is stacked over the ankle, arms are active, the back foot is pressing into the top of the mat. You might want to place a pillow or blanket underneath the knee if this hurts. 
And we'll take a breath in, rocking back, sending the front leg straight. And on your exhale, we'll take the heart over the knee. Again, creating length through the spine. We don't want to round, but uh, lift the chest up. And find your best variation. If you've been doing my videos, uh, there's so many things to do. We could slide into our splits. We could pull the arms back. And slowly and gently easing our way out. We'll soften the front leg, opening up the arms, opening the hips. And we'll come into a low warrior two. So we're active from fingertips to fingertips. Hips are open, knee is over the ankle. And we'll take a breath in, left hand on the inside of the right foot, easing those hips. Right arm open and active. Maybe reaching back for the back foot if that feels good for you. And slowly and gently we'll release both hands on either side of the foot. We'll tip the knee up and we'll step the feet together. And breathing in, we halfway lift to long through our spine. And on the exhale, we'll fold. Rooting down into the left foot, we'll send the right leg back behind us. Again, easing our way into this lunge. And slowly letting the back knee hit the floor. And breathing in, the arms will raise. Knee stacked over the ankle, engaging our glutes here. Heart and arms are lifted up. And on the exhale, we'll slowly sit back, front leg straight. Breathing in to lengthen through the spine. And on the exhale, we'll fold over our knee. And playing around in our hamstring stretch. Uh, where our bodies are made to move, we're not here to be stagnant. So play around. Uh, try something new in this position. Easing our way out of our hamstring stretch. And we'll soften the front knee. Arms will come up, opening the hips, opening the arms to a T. And we'll take our low warrior two. Lunging into that front leg, active hands, active fingers. We'll take a breath in and on the exhale, the right hand will come down, left arm up. We'll take a revolved low twist. Again, maybe the back foot floats up. Never straining our bodies to get into these poses. Gently, we'll release the foot. The hands will frame the top toes and we'll tip the knee, stepping the feet together. And breathing in, we halfway lift. And on the exhale, we'll fold. 
And grounding down into the mat, we'll breathe in, lifting the body, lifting the arms. And on your exhale, we'll take the palms to touch. And we'll slowly sink our hips down into our chair pose. And so some of us, our chair might be up higher. I like mine up high. Uh, some of us might want to be super low, but we're all drawing that energy into our cores. And why don't we start to shift the weight into the right toes, into the right foot, and sending this left leg to a hover. And slowly and gently, we'll drop the foot. Breathing in, we'll lift. And on the exhale, we'll fold. And breathing in, we'll halfway lift to lengthen through the spine. And on your exhale, we'll soften down. And rooting down into the feet, we'll breathe in, lifting the body, lifting the chest. And on our exhale, we'll sink the hips into our chair pose. This time we'll ground down into the left foot, uh, finding our chairs, finding our breath. We'll hover the right leg up. And slowly dropping the foot to the mat, breathing in, we'll lift. And on the exhale, we'll fold in half. The breath in, we'll flatten out our back to halfway lift. And on the exhale, we'll fold. Rooting down into the right foot, we'll slowly send the left leg back. And taking a moment here to find this lunge. And on your breath in, we'll slowly raise up for our crescent lunge. And so both sets of toes are facing the same way. Uh, the back heel is up, knee is over the ankle. Hands are lifted, fingers engaged. And we'll take a breath in and on the exhale, we'll open the arms, reverse revolve, right hand behind. Uh, really engage those glutes together. We'll turn and flip the front palm, breathing in, exalting our crescent lunge. And slowly we'll pivot the toes, open the body to the side of your mat, and we'll find our star. And shutting down the eyes. I know your body's nice and warm, uh, feeling the energy coming out of the fingertips. And we'll turn our toes out to the corners of the mat and we'll slowly ease our way into our goddess pose. And our arms can be at a cactus, uh, but we're very active here, sucking the navel in, not sucking, but tucking and lifting up. We'll take a breath in to straighten out the body. The toes will turn back to parallel, peace fingers to the hips, and we'll hinge forward on our exhale. And so during this wide leg forward fold, uh, it's a little opportunity here to uh, get creative, be active. We can do middle splits, headstand, arm balance, inversion, whatever you wanna do here. We'll stay here for about five more rounds of breath.
And slowly we'll make our way back into our wide leg forward fold. And breathing in, we'll halfway lift to lengthen out through our spine. And on the exhale, we'll turn our hands, turn the toes to the back of the mat, left foot in front, switching it up here on the brain. And we'll turn and pivot the back heel. And breathing in, we'll raise up for our warrior one. And the hips are facing and squaring to the top of the mat. Uh, maybe lifting the toes to find the alignment within the knee. And we'll fill our lungs and on the exhale, we'll open the arms, open our chest for our warrior two. Again, we're pressing into the outer edge of the pinky toe. And we'll fill our lungs, pulling the hands behind us, interlacing the fingers, pulling down with the knuckles, opening the chest. And on your exhale, we'll slowly humble down. And so some of us might get our shoulder to the inside of our thigh. And some arms might come off the back. Uh, slowly but surely, we don't want to hurt ourselves. We'll just find a little inversion here. And so we'll unravel the fingers. And turning the toes, we'll step the feet together. And breathing in, we'll halfway lift. And on the exhale, we'll fold. And taking a moment to find our breath, rooting down into the left toes. We'll send the right leg back behind us. And finding that lunge. And breathing in, we'll lift into our crescent lunge. Back heel is up, both sets of toes facing the same way. And we'll take a breath in and on the exhale, the left arm will sweep behind, opening the arm, squeezing those thighs together, using our breath. And we'll turn and flip the front palm, breathing in, exalting our crescent lunge. Oh, really using that breath. Pivoting the toes around and finding our star pose. Active hands, active toes. And shut down the eyes. We'll turn the toes to the outside of the mat and slowly sinking the hips down, uh, going easy on the knees if this is uncomfortable. Active arms. And slowly we'll take a breath in, raising the body. And the toes will come back to parallel. And we'll take a breath in and on the exhale. We'll slowly lower down. Again, taking another opportunity here. Um, so many options. We could do a middle split, lunge from side to side, a uh, half bun. Be careful. And we'll take about three more rounds of breath here. Absolutely no rush.
be breathing in, we'll halfway lift to long through our spine. And on the exhale, we'll crawl our fingers, crawl our toes back to the top of the mat. Right foot in front, and we'll turn and pivot the back heel. And breathing in, we'll lift for our warrior one. Again, adjusting the feet to find the stance that works for you. Uh, pushing in to the back foot. Hips are square to the top of the mat. We'll take a breath in and on the exhale, we'll open the arms and open the hips for our warrior two. Active fingers, tight arms. We'll fill our lungs, pulling the hands back behind us, pushing the chest open, taking a breath in. Oh, this feels so good. And on your exhale, slowly humble down. Again, finding what works for you here. Oh, some arms might be lifted off of the back. And we'll slowly undo the hands. We'll place the hands on either side of the foot and we'll step the feet together. Breathing in, we halfway lift. And on the exhale, we'll fold. And rooting down into the toes, we breathe in, lifting the body. And on your exhale, the hands will come to touch. And we'll exhale the hands to the center of the chest. Again, shutting down the eyes, just feeling the body. Uh, noticing if you feel a little bit different. Has your energy changed? Breathing in, we'll lift the hands, lift the gaze, and on your exhale, we'll fold in half. And breathing in, we'll flatten out the back to halfway lift. And on the breath out, we'll fold. And placing the hands into the mat, we'll step the feet back into our downward facing dog. Taking a couple rounds of breath here. Uh, breathing in, let's raise the right leg up for our three-legged dog. And rolling out the ankle. Maybe opening the hips and bending the knee. And slowly taking the foot back to the mat. And pedaling out the feet from left to right. And breathing in, we'll take the left leg up. Again, rolling out the ankle. Maybe bending the knee to open the hips. And slowly sending the foot back down. Whenever you're ready, we'll drop the knees to the mat. And we'll take the soles of the feet together, uh, taking the knees wide. And we can sit back for a child's pose. Letting the body settle, letting the breath slow down.
and checking in with our thoughts and softening the face. Slowly and gently easing our way up, uh, coming to a seated position and taking the soles of the feet together. Uh, the heels can be in a little closer, maybe they're out a little further. If the knees are up super high, we could sit on a pillow or blanket to help um, alleviate any stress on the knees. But we'll take a breath in to lengthen. And on the exhale, we'll slowly fold over. Again, coming down as far as it feels good for you. And finding a place where we can sit with the discomfort because we know our bodies are changing and growing. Channeling this yen energy, the opposite of uh, the start of class, we're masculine, strong, and here we just want to cultivate this, this surrender and stillness part of our practice. We'll take a breath in through the nose and on your exhale, slowly lift the body. We can place the hands behind us, planting the feet. We can windshield wipe our legs from side to side. And placing the feet out in front of us. Uh, let's pull the left leg in. The foot can be on the inside of the thigh, maybe down by the knee. We'll take a breath in to lengthen. And on the exhale, we'll fold. Again, separating the teeth, checking in with your body. And keeping those thoughts away for just a little bit longer.
and slowly and gently we'll raise the body. And taking the left leg out in front of us, maybe rocking onto those sit bones. Uh, we can add a little bend in the knees, but we'll breathe in to lengthen through the spine, lifting the hands. And on the exhale, slowly fold over. We won't be here long. Just allow your head to hang down. You're finding that release in the back. Slowly raising up, we'll pull the right knee in. Lengthening through the spine, we'll breathe, lifting the arms. And on the exhale, we'll fold. We'll take a breath in, lengthening through the spine, slowly walking the hands up, and placing the hands behind the back. We can pull the feet in, and the windshield wiping the legs from side to side. And we'll flip over onto our backs, slowly coming down to a reclined position. Oh, taking another pencil stretch, interlacing the fingers, pointing the toes away from the hands. And we'll hug the knees into the chest, wrapping the arms around the shin, and we'll rock from side to side. We'll take the arms open to a T, stacking the knees. We'll let the legs fall over to the right side. And the gaze is over the left arm. Just keeping your energy here in this space for just a little bit longer. Breathing in, the knees will come back to center. And on your breath out, let them fall over to the left side. And the gaze can be over the right arm.
And we'll inhale the knees to center. And squeezing them in, ending our practice with a great big hug. And extending the feet into the air. And taking one more inversion. And slowly allowing the feet to hit the floor. Uh, finish out your practice with any last pose your body's asking from you. It could be a bridge, wheel, plow, shoulder stand. A happy baby by pulling the knees into the armpits and grabbing the feet and rocking from side to side. And whenever you're ready, let's make our way into Shavasana, into our final resting place, uh, laying out nice and long on our mat. And receiving the benefits from our physical practice. Once again, letting go of everything. And adding a soft smile to your face. And letting your body melt back into your mat. And slowly we'll start to feel our eyebrows pulling away from one another. And notice the air as it comes in through your nose. And the tongue is gently placed in the back of your mouth. And the jaw is unclenched. The shoulders are down and away from the ears. And notice the rise and fall of your chest. And the arms are relaxed. And the fingers have a slight curl to them. And the belly is soft. The legs are heavy and the toes are comfortably placed outward. The whole body is relaxed. We'll take a deep breath in through the nose. Open your mouth and let it all out. And wiggle your fingers and toes, inviting life back into your body. And hugging the knees into the chest. We'll roll over to our right side. And always leading with our hearts, we'll make our way back to a seated position. And the hands to the center of the chest. Shanti means peace. Om Shanti to each and every one of you.
be intentional with the energy you are bringing into this space. Namaste. Awesome, everyone. Ah, so there's this big black spider just crawling on this opposite wall. And if, I, if you feel the practice was a little rushed, I am so sorry, but I'm just like, I've got to get this guy outside. Um, thank you so much for joining me for a YouTube video. Uh, these have been really fun to make. I'm not sure how everything's going to pan out. Um, with the studios opening, but I do know that when we do reopen, we are absolutely going to make it a safe and clean space for you to practice. If you would like to donate to the Arlington Yoga Center, there is a link posted above. I hope everybody has a wonderful week enjoying this beautiful weather. And I will see y'all next Thursday. Uh, love and light. Namaste.